Good evening, Firebirds. Welcome back to another Thursday night Overwatch. Carthage Esports once again. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Tanner was not able to make it, so we were replacing with fresh out of the printer, Toner. Toner. As usual, I'm breaded or bearded man, not breaded man. Sorry, that You're was not breaded man. I'm not breaded man. That, that was week one for us. Um, but it's gonna be a good game. Uh, map list tonight. We are well. First of all, we're playing the UW Eau Claire Blue Golds, uh, the B team. It looks like. Uh, so it'll be a good match. Battle of Wisconsin. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Uh, map lineup for tonight. We have Ilios Eichenwald, Hi or Eichenwald, Hi Havana, <laughs> Kings Row, Oasis, and Rialto as the tiebreaker. Uh, it's gonna be good. I think so. Very you, much so. How are you doing today? Uh, doing pretty good. A little tired. It's laundry day. <laughs> <laughs> it was laundry day. I gotta do laundry day. Thanks for reminding me. It's tomorrow's tomorrow's gonna be laundry day for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's no fun. I do I do not like that, but how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I have a, a French quiz tomorrow, which I'm... Ew. Yeah. No, I gotta, I gotta study for that. I'm gonna study for that after this game. So... <laughs> My night is long is 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 gonna be a long one, but I think I'm um, I'm ready for this. Obviously, esports is near and dear to my heart, so it takes priority over that for now. For now, it's not priority. <laughs> I'm just scheduling my time. But uh, starting lineup for the Firebirds, we have DK and Donut on DPS, Psychopreds and Sam on tank, Nancakes and Westoff on support. Nancakes definitely one to look at. She is deadly as Baptiste. I she, I've seen her get more eliminations in a match, uh, more eliminations than our DPS. I'm gonna have to take your word for it. This is the first time I'm seeing the Firebird, so it's I'm going in blind. Mm -hmm. So I'll take your word for it. I mean, you're doing great. Uh, Toner and I were the uh, shoutcasters last night for the Rainbow Six Siege match. Definitely check that out. We had some some very fun <laughs> some moments. moments. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we can get you some equally as amazing, if not better, moments for tonight. Uh, we had, what was it? We sang Hot and Cold by Katy Perry at one point. A lot, a lot of fun stuff. So I stay tuned for that. Hopefully we can. <laughs> we didn't get a copyright strike right? <laughs> yet. So I mean, yet. that's a pretty good thing. Just, just wait. <laughs> uh, we still have our jobs. So that's the important thing. Uh, <laughs> but as you might notice, we do have a really nice addition to the stream. Starting tonight, we have face cams for all of our players. So you get to match a name to a face, which is going to be great. Wow. As I say that, we are heading into map one, Ilios, a control point. So both teams have to fight over a main location on the map and hold it for a set amount of time without the other team taking over and uh, holding it for the same amount of time. It's so. a very strong map pick, especially like for the first round being on well. You can get hooked, you can get uh, uh, thrown into the well, and you can instantly die. It's a very, very, very dangerous map to that be is, playing on for the first round. Definitely. It is, this is, it really, I love this map because uh, you're probably going to see a lot of Lucio, a lot of Roadhog, a lot mm -hmm. of Orisa, just a lot of that, con uh, that um, not so much crowd control, but that, uh, uh, I can't think of the word. The uh, thing is to pull people into that well. That is the key to the game. Making sure that, hey, one moment you're there, next moment you're falling into the yep. well. And Lassie's going to try and help you out. Or Old Yeller. Uh, <laughs> one of those dogs is going to run one home of them. and try and make sure that somebody knows you're there. But it looks like uh, everybody's chosen has chosen their heroes. We have DK as Torbjorn. Donut as, for, for Firebirds, Donut as Hanzo, Orisa. There's Psychopreds as Orisa, Nancakes, of course, as Baptiste, Westoff as Lucio, and Sam as Roadhog. Once again, that Roadhog uh, Orisa is going to be really good. Mm -hmm. uh, pushing into the cage right now, it looks like Eau Claire is going to meet them on the left. Orisa is able to get that shield up and block off a lot of that incoming damage for Eau Claire, but uh, Eau Claire's Roadhog is on the top, getting a lot of that poke Ooh. damage on them. Very aggressive. Eau Claire is forced to use the Immortality Field, which is great because the Firebirds are able to get a pick on their oh, no. on their healers, which is going to be beautiful for Firebirds to clean them up quite a bit because they have no healers. That was a great push oh, for the Firebirds. Great. And getting the Roadhog, that was clean. That was a clean fight for the Firebirds. Clean, quick, and tactical. That was a really good first push, and the point goes to the Firebirds. Or goes yeah. to the Firebirds, which is really good to see. Uh, this is one of those maps where it's decently hard to re to recontest mm -hmm. and capture uh but it's not impossible definitely roadhog getting purpled in that anti-heal uh but able to survive enough 
to get to cover and not uh, unfortunately get picked. Very but lucky. we have yet to see any sort of environmental kill, which is kind of sad. I like those. It's always yeah, fun to I see. know, especially on this map. <laughs> but it looks oh, like, oh, oh Sight runs his hook, oh. but not enough is able to be just barely staying on the side. Uh, Westhoff using that beat drop to give a lot of heal, extra heal oh. to Firebirds. Uh, a lot of ults going on. Donut using his dragons right there. Um, still, Carthage still holding it though. Carthage is still holding it. By the hog, teeth. wow. Oh, Claire, getting, trying to get another hook, but it's not enough. And Donut is able to easily kill him. Donut easily. is melting Eau Claire right now. Firebirds are melting Eau Claire. Looking really good. 60% on the point right now. Needing to get to 100%. Um, Eau Claire having a few ults. Eau Claire is having an echo duplication. Uh, Roadhog, Whole Hog, and McCree's High Noon, or Cassidy's High Noon, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, once again, uh, Eau Claire is trying to push into Firebirds holding in that cage. Uh, and the Whole Hog is trying to boop people into hole, but, oh, they're able to boop. Uh, the, the Sam, Sam is falling into the hole. Firebirds are just getting melted right now by Eau Claire because they are using a bunch of ults, but they're still holding on to a bunch of ults uh, to lead up the next fight with. Um, it looks like Eau Claire is able to cap the point, but the Firebirds having 95% already is beautiful. They need to win one team fight and the point goes to them. Absolutely, this is a great place to be for the Firebirds right now. All they need to do is basically get, get the other team off and you're good to go. Eau Claire definitely getting that early hook on Sam as Roadhog, but we're able to counter that and Donut is getting that final pick on Eau Claire and Eau Claire has chosen the same strategy as them, but we're able to get three picks right away on Eau Claire and we're able to, but Echo is being nanoed there. That might be pretty good for Eau Claire. They're able to do a lot of damage and they're able to almost get oh, the pick. So no Firebirds success. get the pick and Eau Claire is running onto point, making sure they don't get that final point. But will it be enough? They're it able will. to secure the point. That was beautiful to see. That was well done. That was beautiful to see by the Firebirds. Beautiful performance. They lost that one fight, but that is because Eau Claire used a lot of ults mm -hmm. in that small space in the cage. And the Firebirds were able to come back with a bunch of ults for their, of their own yep. and retake point. It was and good that the Firebirds didn't waste all their ults when uh, the, when Eau Claire was uh, using their ult. Because when we came in for the retake, they had nothing to defend themselves with. And you could see they were just getting melted afterwards. I agree. It's ult management is the name of the game. Mm -hmm. Some may say Overwatch, so you never know. <laughs> uh, but it looks like Firebirds running a similar comp going Torbjorn, Hanzo, Reinhardt, Baptiste, Lucio, and Zarya now instead of the Hog. So going, well, not the same comp. They're going Ryan Zarya, which is a very solid comp for Most the definitely. Firebirds. Uh, Eau Claire is going Cassidy, Lucio, Diva, Reinhardt, Baptiste, and Reaper. Similar. That Reaper is a very interesting pick. Uh, a well-placed... Well, we don't have a Roadhog, but... Uh, Ro Reaper you don't really see sometimes. Like, in upper brackets, he's not played that much because yeah. he's... A lot of people know how to counter them. I mm -hmm. hope the Firebirds are, Firebirds are able to. But Psycho Preds, as Reinhardt is falling, Eau Claire getting that early pick and probably able to cap point now, but the Firebirds are still there. Causing a lot of damage to them. Uh, Nancakes is jumping out. Cassidy's able to get that pick on Nancakes. It looks like Eau Claire's gonna secure it. Yeah, it looks but like it. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get, we're getting a bunch of ults now, which is nice. Donut's getting a lot of hits as Hanzo. Is he gonna use the drag? They they use the immortality field. Um, no drag yet though. Donut's just holding just that up. He's just waiting for that He's holding right it. moment. Yeah. Uh, Sucker Bread's using that fire strike, but D.Va is able to soak it up with her defense matrix. Uh, Eau Claire just used a shatter, but it didn't oh look like it got anybody. Uh, Nancake's getting a pick on the Reaper. Reaper getting a pick on the Hanzo for the uh, for Eau Claire. It's a pretty nice trade there. Um, yeah, the Reaper's really putting in the work. I mean, mainly he's used to shred the tank, the tank line. Oh, but Sucker Bread's oh. getting a shatter, only getting Reinhardt in the process. But Fireheart, no, Strawberry, using that beat drop to follow it up, protecting Eau Claire against it. But Carthage is able to get a pick on the Rhine, pick on the Thank Lucio. You. This is beautiful. We are, we are getting their healer, getting their main tank. Uh, Reaper is a bit of an issue right now for the uh, Firebirds. But, oh, I think it'll be close. Unfortunately, Firebirds losing their Reinhardt and their Baptiste, 
DK and Sorby are getting a pick oh, as a Reaper. Diva is getting, wow, Diva getting two kills there on the Firebirds. Um, three kills now, four kills. Wow. Wow. Lynn reverse on the blue golds is getting a lot of picks there. Eau Claire leading uh, on point with 80% um, capture rate. This is going to be good. This is this tough. Is, I mean, interesting. I mean, we didn't take the point first, so no, uh, Eau Claire has some really great defense skills now, especially with that Reaper that's going to cause a huge problem. Now, Firebird's having a lot of ult. Psychopreds falling once again, but oh, oh. Iron Dragon leaves ult, and Fireheart is using that Immortality Field. Oh, just barely a triple, a triple kill on the Firebirds, but it's oh. not enough. Wow. What a round. That was heartbreaking. Firebirds were able to get all of those really good kills at the end. That beautiful triple kill mm -hmm. on the Hanzo ult. But it wasn't enough. Five more seconds earlier, they would have taken that point and they... I don't know, I, I can't say it would have won in the, won in the round, but that, that was a really, really, really great end. Mm -hmm. now, now, hopefully they can bring that same pressure up definitely, this time I, around. It, it, was, it was heartbreaking to see, but we're on map three now. Winner takes the map, or map three of Ilios, I should say. Um, Lighthouse. One of those maps, again, where if you capture it, it's really hard to recontrol. A lot of control points are like that. Um, but Lighthouse especially because it is such a close quarters on that point. Um, and that's interesting because now we have uh, Firebirds have Roadhog back. Correct. Uh, DK going Symmetra too, which is really good. DK is really, really good at that Symmetra pick. Both are doing the same idea. Teleporting <laughs> right on the point. But who's going to do it better? That's the ultimate question. Those Symmetra turrets are definitely causing a lot of damage for the Firebirds. Uh, we're that soldier for the Eau Claire, for Eau Claire is getting a lot of shots in, and Firebirds are falling. Uh, the Firebirds are falling really, really quickly, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it looks like the offense on uh, Eau Claire is just, it's just killer right now. Mm -hmm. I wonder how uh, Firebirds can re-strategize. What are you thinking? It'll be interesting. I think that initial push was really difficult, uh, but the Firebirds know exactly who they're pulling out. Uh, Honestly, we have pretty much the same comp. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Hog instead of a D.Va, which might be an interesting pick. I think D.Va's probably better in that fight. I'd agree. Oh, and oh. Raspberry for Eau Claire using that Shatter, getting a massive Shatter, picking off four of the Firebirds in the process. That's not good. Almost a team wipe Almost there. That's going to set Firebirds back a lot of precious percentage. But... They're at forty percent. Still, decent amount of time left. Um, Nancakes has died, but has now respawned, which is good. They have a their team is back. They're probably gonna rush in. They have that amplification matrix, which is really good. However, uh, they use that shield. There you go as Symmetra. So right now, Firebirds just need to kind of wait that out uh, before they use anything. Honestly, kind of a waste on the blue golds with that amplification matrix because mm -hmm. nobody, they were just gonna hide. They have, there's a lot of natural cover on that angle. And now, like they, like we said, they're gonna use that amplification matrix. Will they get a pick though? Will it be useless? Will it be good enough? They, they're they causing a lot of damage, uh, which is definitely nice, but will it be For enough? Sure. Uh, it looks like uh, Donut using a high noon, able to get the D.Va out of mech. Uh, Firebirds are able to pick off that D.Va. Eau Claire is now down to one tank. DK right there, trying to get a lot of Symmetra damage in, Few which picks. is laying down their turrets. Uh, Raspberry, it looks like, used their Immortality Field, so Eau Claire does not have that. They're, they're Reinhardt falling, but so is the Firebirds. It looks like the Firebirds are gonna pull this off, though. We have numbers, but they're able to get oh, their Teleporter and, and the Devil, which is going to clear point very slow. Almost, almost capturing point there. But Cat Donut is getting those shots in. As McCree, or as Cassidy, if I can't give up here, this is all or nothing. This is it. But that Reinhardt Shatter is going to cause oh. a, is not going to be good for the Firebirds. Uh, it looks like the Firebirds are going to lose map one. That is unfortunate. That is but unfortunate. Still great plays from both teams. I agree. Um, I do have some news for you, though, and for the viewers at home. Uh, as we head into map number two, I can well. I am actually going to be moving in and playing. Really? And you're going to get a special guest uh, co-host. Who's it going to be? That's for you to figure out. <laughs> oh, but I got scared I'm going to go. I'm going to go jump in. And I'm sure your special guest will be right in here. So I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'll be back. 
Okay. After, I'm only playing map two, so. You better win. Pinky promise? I don't want to pinky promise that. The blue golds, the blue golds would do really good, so it's anybody's game. I don't want to promise that, but I'll see you later, Tony. All right. See you later, bearded man. Yeah, that was a great first match. Like, I tough to say. There's like very good offense from the blue goals and great defense too. They struck really hard after round one, and they just had a great ability to hold the the point. So I wonder what the Firebirds are gonna do um, in the meantime. Uh, it's hard to say. Oh, you know, as we're getting to our second map, Eichenwald, that is a uh, hybrid map. So first they're gonna have a they're gonna have to take a control point from the defense side and push a payload all the way to the end of a map. So a little bit different than uh, um, than the last map. Last map being control only, so more of a king of the hill style. This is best of both worlds. So it's gonna be very interesting to see. Oh, hello, DK. How's it going? You're the guest. I am the guest. Yeah. What a surprise. <laughs> how was how was the first game? How did uh, that go? It was really good. I had a lot of fun. We uh, we got a good handle, I think, on how this team operates, and uh, we can only go up from here. So. That's wicked. Yeah, that your first round, that was just amazing to see. I haven't seen you guys play. I've only seen you once, but never never like this uh, this far in. But wow, that was really, really, really good. So what are you? how did Eau Claire, how did they turn that around from uh, the second round into the third round? So I think what really changed is they were a lot more aggressive. Um, I think they probably clocked the fact that we were uh, being really defensive. We mm -hmm. weren't pushing in when we didn't need to. And um, there were a couple of times where they tried to bait us in and we just weren't taking the bait because we said, we're going to stand our ground. We're going to keep this position and we're going to wait until we get that right opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I think what changed those uh, last two games is they were a lot more aggressive and they didn't let us get those uh, early picks and they didn't give us the opportunity to really um, like get that ground and really hold it. For sure. Yeah, I'd agree with you is that I think another troubling thing on the second point, then putting in a Reaper and it was just shredding through your guys' tanks and DPS. It like it, that, that scared me because you don't see a Reaper too, too much these days. Right. But yeah, um, I'm very interested to see what you guys are going to bring out for Eichenwald. Uh, any... Uh, Oh, I probably shouldn't say on stream if the, if the enemies are watching. Uh, nah, um, it'll, it'll it'll be interesting. We went through all of these maps um, beforehand, and uh, I think it was Tuesday when we had practice. Uh, we said, "All right, we know what we're gonna play, so we can form our strategy around it." And uh, the other nice thing is, uh, you know, we can we can say since we know the map, we can plan where we're gonna be going, who we're gonna be playing, and it makes it a lot more. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to just go in and do what we planned. Yeah, for sure. Would you say I can? Well, you guys are a little bit more experienced on this map than uh, um, than the last one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think overall we do better in escort maps and uh, hybrid maps. So, um, you know, we we struggle a bit with control points. Um, we did really good that first map, um, but I think what we're gonna see here is a, a little bit of a reversal in the performance. So. Awesome. Well, I, can't, I can't wait to see it. And Jordan going in for, for your place. That's, that's going to be interesting to see. All right. Do we have any swaps on Eau Claire? Oh, I, I am not sure. So <laughs> Millie Jordan or uh, uh, Bearded Man was the one doing all the talking. I was just uh, I'm just trying to get the groove on. <laughs> Let's see. So I, I, I got to get used to these names here. So we got MX Thick. Do you have a name for that one yet? I don't know. I'll go with MX stick too. All right, MX. I'll 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 stick with MX. Uh, we got strawberry, Lin Lin reverse, uh, raspberry, fireheart, and, and dark tyrant. Dark tyrant. Okay. Very interesting. I love the name choices. Yeah, we got we got raspberry, strawberry. Nice <laughs> it's pretty choices. awesome. Ready. Okay, so. Oh. So Davis, we... come this way. Let's go a little bit this way. Um, oh, there we go. Sorry. Right. <laughs> okay. So for the Firebirds, uh, Galahad's going Mercy. Donut is going uh, Hanzo. And uh, I, I, I can never say Psycho. Psycho. Psycho Prez. Psycho yeah. Prez is going that uh, um, Orisa. Uh, Orisa. Nan Cakes going Baptiste. Lunar Synergy going uh, Soldier 76. And Sam going Roadhog. 
Very so interesting. I, very strong. I think something you're going to see here um, with this comp, especially, is um, we have two tanks that are going to be able to tank a lot of damage, mm -hmm. and then we have two solid healers and uh, a couple of ranged DPS. So, let's see, uh, Eau Claire. They're That's running, awesome. Uh, McCree, Lucio, Diva. Reinhardt, Baptiste, and May. So a little bit Very more good to see. Oh, it looks like Eau Claire is going to flank to the left side. Taking a little bit of damage towards uh, Firebird's DPS. Firebirds are trying to hold on. They get the early Donut pick on Raspberry. For That's sure. Don't. Oh, and Donut falls. Donut's down as well, but we get the res. Yeah, so far right now, it's looking like 6v5 and... They managed to cap the point. That's interesting. Okay. So yeah, I think what just happened there is we, uh, we uh, Firebirds managed to get uh, a little bit uh, caught off guard mm -hmm. and they were able to rush in and just cap point right away. Yeah, that was surprisingly quick. Like six minutes for uh, Firebirds had to defend this. And that, that's gonna be really scary. Oh, and it looks like Sam hooking the Roadhog from Eau Claire. They're still about even here. They, they got uh, both teams has everyone up. Mm-hmm. Psycho Prez getting a little bit of damage on the enemy team. And they managed to pick the May. That's going to be a good pick for them. Uh, sure. They're not going to have that utility of those May walls. For sure. And only one DPS to shred through the Firebirds. Looks like, oh, and it looks like Cassidy's going to use his ult. Didn't get any picks, though. Psycho Prez uh, up top trying to take care of what looks to be five blue golds. And the dragon comes out from Donut. He manages to get not only the immortality field, but also the enemy Cassidy. That's good to see. So Looks like only even, four for a blue golds facing off all six firebirds. And it looks like the payload is going to stop just momentarily. Yeah, but as you can see, though, the uh, Eau Claire, they are staying as close together as possible so they don't give up too much space here. And they, they use the mm -hmm. Blizzard and Diva Bomb. They get the pick oh. on Nancakes and Psycho Preds. So Taking out quick. one healer and both tanks from the Firebirds. And also a Lunar Synergy also falling. And Donut. Both are DPS. Galahad down. is the last man alive. Now, it'll be interesting here to see if uh, Firebirds are going to try to stop the payload before it gets to this point. Or if they're going to just give it to him. It looks like they're going to go in for it. And it looks like Eau Claire is ready for him. Oh, yeah. Popping that Baptiste. And they managed to get it there anyways. Oh. Despite the uh, efforts from Firebirds to contest the point, it looks like Eau Claire for sure. is pushing straight in. And still, there's a lot of time left on the clock. Firebirds need to pick it up here and now. Yeah, but it looks like we're going to get close to team kill here. For sure, Sam being the last one alive, and he falls. Yeah, so this is uh, what I'm seeing here right now is Eau Claire is just continuing to be very aggressive, and they're just keeping the fight going. For sure, and keeping up very close together, too. It'd be interesting to see if Firebirds uh, recognizes that, and for next round, doing a little bit more CC, a little bit more crowd Sam control. Oh! Sam pops his off. Blocked mostly by Diva Shield. And it looks like Cassidy from the from Eau Claire is gonna pop his oh, ult. Donut gets the other Cassidy though. Now we've been in this position before. We've managed to get them off the cart, but hopefully for a, for a little while longer. Firebirds have four minutes and twenty seconds to defend this. Yep. We can do that. It's been done before. We 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 do exceptionally well on these escort maps, like I said before, but. What's, what it's really going to come down to here is whether or not we're giving them too much space. For sure. Yeah, with four minutes, it's going to be about three or four good pushes from Eau Claire. Yep. So let's see what happens. I think the big thing to watch is uh, this Reinhardt has been getting really solid shadow uh, shatters. Mm -hmm. And he's just walking right in. With that shatter up, what is going to happen? And it looks like only three, oh, only two left for the Firebirds. Uh, and we didn't manage to get onto point there quite in time. Three points goes to Eau Claire. And they're going to have three minutes and 40 seconds here. Mm -hmm. um, if, if Firebirds manage to get the point as far as Eau Claire did, um, Eau Claire is going to have three, oh, more than three and a half minutes to push the car to get it. That is very scary to see for the Firebirds. They're going to have to, ha they're going to have to pull a lot of ground to make up for the time that they've lost. But what I find interesting from uh, Eau Claire 
is that their Reinhardt is super, super, super aggressive. He just walked right through all of the Firebird shields yeah. and just and just kept on at it. Yep. And with that Baptista Mortality shield, like he, he was offered to do so. Yep. I think it'd be very beneficial for the Firebirds to look into that because yep. it mainly it was just that Reinhardt giving all that cover and all that damage for the rest of the uh, the blue goals to go in. Yep. And uh, I think, you know, uh, with Eau Claire, that was there an no exceptional match. For uh, sure. Something I noticed, though, is that they're they're comboing these ults. Like, uh, May, uh, May's Blizzard went out a couple of times, mm -hmm. and that gave their tanks the, uh, the opportunity to really push through and not have to worry too much about too much damage coming in, so long as that May ult uh, was connecting correctly. Yeah, May's ult is a very, 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 very good <laughs> crowd control ultimate. It slows everyone down on the enemy team until it freezes them entirely, and it is dangerous. Now let's see, uh, let's see where uh, this round goes here. So we have Galahad on Mercy again, Donut on Hanzo, Psycho Preds on Orisa. Looks like relatively the same comp. Yeah. And on the other team, uh, swapping out Cassidy for uh, for Ash, and also putting a Junkrat in there. Yeah, uh, Carthage looks to be doing the same thing that Oclair did last match. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're rotating to this other side because that right side, from Carthage's perspective, is a really uh, clustered spot and really good for uh, defending. For you sure, this Ash they're trying to game. attack really strong and really fast, but not as hard and fast as the blue golds. Now, Eau Claire is gonna be up here, so they're gonna uh, push a little bit further, and Carthage is gonna have to back out of this. It's like that fight is lost. Yeah, the push was, it, it, it was pretty good, but it looks like a lot of Firebirds are falling. And Donut falling along with Sam. Hopefully the respawn will come quick. Yeah, and what ended up happening there is uh, Psycho Pred's, uh Orisa ended up going down first, and once you get that main tank mm -hmm. done, uh, it's going to be really, really difficult for uh, the enemy team to actually push in. Yeah, and for sure. It looks like Junkrat's ult uh, goes off, but it hits the immortality shield. And Galahad <laughs> doing a little bit of attack mercy up in the skies. Uh, he, so he just used his ult as well. Let's see, Donut's taking a little bit of an off angle here. He's trying to... I'm wondering if he's trying to find a good place. Oh, and he does! Yep, he's the ult. Is. Gets rid of an integral healer for the blue golds. But Diva on the enemy team getting one of our own healers. Now, Donut getting a back double kill. back and forth right now. The enemy Ash uses Bob, and Bob basically uh, just denying that entire mm -hmm. underside of the bridge. It was a great, great, great push. But... Blue Golds just had everything to negate it. Yep. Now this will be uh this will this next fight, they're uh, only gonna have the Reinhardt Shatter, whereas Carthage is gonna have a few ults of our own. Uh, so let's see what Carthage decides to do here. Uh, they're a little yeah. spread out at the moment. Yeah, I would say just do the high same high thing that the that the Blue Golds do, just pushing hard and fast. Do not be scared. Rely on that deep on those DPS. And it looks like oh the dead eye getting the oh. Very good, Dona getting the second pick. Lunar oh, Synergy wait. getting a third, and wow! It looks like this Can is gonna be it for Eau Claire on this point, but we'll see. I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely not. Oh, and the but Mercy the Falls. The team. Okay. Very good, a little bit less time that uh, Firebirds have to work with, but let's hope that this push can be strong and fast, just like that they got onto the point. Yep. So the rest of the map is just going to be payload pushing it all the way to the end of sight. And Eau Claire is taking the high ground, which is a smart move here. Um, but Carthage has a couple of... Oh, and Donut oh. takes out Ash. That was an excellent uh, shot by Donut there. Very nice. It doesn't look like... It. Oh, and Mercy does get the res on Ash. All right, so we're about even again. Both teams having all six members. It's going to be interesting. Carthage Who is going is... to initiate the fight? Oh, and looks like a junk rat all is going down. But again, Nancakes with the excellent wow. uh, immortality field there. I Sam kn goes down, but Carthage is managing to keep the numbers in their favor here. Oh, and, and then exactly Reinhardt is super, super, super low. Oh, and the enemy Bob is behind. And see, that's what I'm talking about. That mm -hmm. Bob there is just denying that entire area. If you get too close, that Bob is going to do way too much damage. Definitely. Definitely want to have the tanks block the shots so the DPS and healers can get to cover. Yep. Now, Carthage is still up here. The enemy Ash uh, got picked there. Oh, and it looks like... Lunar Synergy using 
Another Jedi, ultimate. He manages to get both back T salts getting popped. This is a little bit of extra damage on both sides. Mercy getting the res on the enemy Reinhardt. And enemy Diva going back into Mech. Lunar, is Lunar Synergy getting the Baptiste and a double kill off the Ash. A triple kill. The Mercy. And Diva goes down as well. And it's looking like Firebirds have gotten the bay. Yep. They're really adapting quickly. Now, this is going to be really good for the Firebirds because um, we don't have a lot of ults right now, but the Diva Bomb is a very useful ult. It Most can do a definitely. Lot of damage. And it looks like on the enemy team, they switched a Mercy to a Moira. They did, so they're not going to be able to get those reses anymore. But the enemy Reinhardt getting a huge shatter, but unfortunately, none, none of the picks are coming out of that. For sure. Carthage is slowly building up our ults, and this is going to end up yeah. turning into something. Hanzo, Hanzo has his, along with Diva and Cassidy. And the Diva Bomb comes out. Oh! And it looks like two Firebirds going down. Firebirds have been a sitting on this uh, Diva ult here for a little while, so I wonder what they're saving it for. Yeah, I would just use it right away. They only have two minutes and 40 seconds to do something here, and they're allowing... Oh! Man Cakes falls to the Ash. They're no. allowing the Blue Gold to push... To just to push them all the way well, we managed the to get We managed to get the, ult, uh, the res here, but Lunar Synergy goes down. So Carthage is going to be down one pick here. Most and definitely, but five, oh, five, five ults for the Firebirds. Yep. Just getting ready to get procced. Now they're going to have to time this just right because they have the resources here to really get a good push in. Most definitely. Obviously we can't hear their comms, but yeah. I'm sure they have something ready. I wonder what though, it's... This is starting to give me the sweats. And it looks like Cassidy will be the first one to make his appearance. Bob from the enemy team. Coming in, an immortality shield for the Firebirds. They managed to get the D.Va, so now it's just uh, about five on six here. Carthage still has a few ults at its disposal. For sure. On oh, one pick going off the Moira. And Junkrat falling from the enemy team. That Junkrat keeps on going for our, our D.Va. That Luna's Supercharger has been getting a lot of value for Carthage. For sure. So if people don't know, that Supercharger gives Carthage a uh, damage boost. Um, and it's been giving them a lot of damage here. Donut using the uh, Dragon once again. And it looks like it's going to the Firebirds. They get there. Very nice. A little bit rocky, a little bit shaky from the start. But, I mean, overall, it was... A really, really, really great push by the Firebirds. Not a lot of mistakes and didn't want to leave any ground. But unfortunately, it looks like Eau Claire is going to have 3 minutes and 40 seconds. And Firebirds only a little bit over 2 minutes less than them. So this, this has to be very tactical and very, very, very quick for the Firebirds if they're going to make a move. Yeah. So they're going to... The thing about this now is they've had two full matches now. Um, at least on this map, where they can see how Eau Claire is playing. And same thing for Eau Claire. They're seeing how Carthage is playing. So these teams are definitely going to be making mm -hmm. adjustments. And uh, Carthage is going to be the first to attack here. Um, so let's see if they switch anything. Up. Looks like they're running the same comp. It did work last game. So. It did. If, it, if it, it works, I mean, don't fix it. Yep. That's what we say for R6 as well. And it looks like on the Eau Claire side... Relatively, uh, pretty much entirely the same comp. Yep. Did they have the Lucio last time? I don't think they did. Um, it's a little bit. My memory is still kind of shot. It was laundry day today, so a, <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> but Firebird's having the uh, uh, attack uh, attack side first. I think it's going to be a great advantage. Oh yeah. If they can push in and hold it all the way. Really going to come see. down to time here. They don't have too much of it, but if they get a good mm -hmm. push and they get the right picks, it'll put For them in sure. a good spot. Lunar Synergy getting a little bit of damage with Cassidy. Oh, and an Ash getting a little bit of fire damage at the Firebirds. But oh! The psych Psycho Birds gets knocked down. Oh, but rezzed by the Mercy. Yeah. An excellent cover by, uh, by Nancakes there with the Immortality Field. Very, very, Sam very nice. down his D.Va. It's going to be interesting to see because Eau Claire does not have a Mercy at all, so they cannot res. It's a it's a yeah. do-or-die situation. This is really going to come down here to uh, Carthage and how fast they get these holds. For sure. So there goes the Junkrat ult. Oh! oh! And he gets Donut. 
Oh, you hate to see. Oh, but a mercy res from Galahad. They only have 20 seconds left. They have to find a way to flank around this. Yeah, they're, they're really gonna have to regroup here. They mm -hmm. can't, they can't uh, get down anymore. But it doesn't that. look like that's gonna be happening here today. Only 10 seconds left on the clock. It looks like the Firebirds are going to fall. Nankate's trying to make that rotate, but it's not gonna does finish. not have can't enough there. time. That was a good effort from the Firebirds. It but was. Unfortunately, Eau Claire was just ready for us, so. Yeah, that aggression by their tanks is it's really scary to see. Oh yeah. Like I can't imagine being in your position having to go back and play that. I, I definitely don't want to be in that situation. No, this team <laughs> these these teams play really fast and it's uh it, it gets overwhelming sometimes just because um when you play against Eau Claire, um they they have the strategies just like we do. And if if we make the one wrong move, mm -hmm. they're gonna instantly take that. And take that opportunity us, and us, yeah, it it's very scary to see that you cannot make any mistakes because once one falls, it seems like the rest of the dominoes just line up. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen, how Carthage will defend this. And it looks like it's going to be a mercy. Hanzo, Orisa, Baptiste, Cassidy, and a Diva for the Firebirds. So same with the same thing. It's going to be interesting to see how are they going to hold? How are they going to position? Because last time that um, Eau Claire pushed, it was taking that flank left side. So are they? Do you think they're expecting that to happen again? I think they are. Yeah, I think they. I think they know this is a game about space, so they don't want to give Eau Claire too much space. Um, but last game they didn't end up making that rotation quick mm -hmm. enough um, to actually get to point in time. But I'm sure they have it in their minds. This time. For and sure. Claire is bringing out a May and a Reaper opposed to last round. Oh, that's that gives me a little bit of anxiety how that Reaper handled. Um, Once again, Eau Claire going to the right side. Oh, and a quick take. All I need is one third of this point, and they win. And the immortality field is already out and it is down. Looks like Sam's almost won. And Nancake's first healer for Firebirds is down, Nancakes. along with the Orisa. Diva is stunned, taking a lot of damage. And it looks like Carthage is gonna... No picks no. off so far looks from like Eau Claire. Looks like Eau Claire is gonna get the win here. Looks like second match goes to him. Yep. That was still strong. Both teams had a very, very, very strong tactics involved, but Eau Claire was just a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger right out the bat. Um, and no wonder Raspberry is going to get play of the game. Let's see if there's a shatter play. Probably is. Oh, most definitely. Oh, there it is. Looks like a combo with May as well. And that's something that I noticed too. Uh, that last that last round there, um, May, uh, the o Eau Claire's May was putting up those walls uh, on the point to distract uh, not only Carthage uh, but especially our healers. Um, because they were able to make that quick transition onto point sure. and Carthage just wasn't able to rotate in time Yeah, it was a very 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 quick match that it, it, it was deadly too But I found interesting like the most interesting thing because I'm not normally an overwatch player I love seeing those immortality shields go out. I almost never see them being used correctly But seeing it in those situations like that that was amazing with junk rap like proccing his ult like that was just really cool to see oh, yeah. Oh, and it looks like we're going into a four minute break and uh, we're gonna go to Havana when we return.
We are back with what map three? Map Long three. time no see, Toner. How was that? It's it's a being different. Ex it is a different <laughs> experience being in game and here because when you're watching from you know our shout casting table, we you can see everybody. But in game, you have no idea what's going. You yeah. you know what's <laughs> happening, but you are looking from your perspective completely different. And uh, as Mercy, I was trying. There's that one time where I emoted, and I, <laughs> somebody as I pressed the emote, somebody's like. Hey, come with me. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to cancel the emote and it's not working. So, uh, that, yeah, I, I I saw that one on screen here and I was like, oh no. Yeah. But well, I, other than that, I think you did great as Mercy. I, I thought that was a really, really, really strong, um, strong match on Eichenwald. I uh, I think I ended with about 16, 15, Ooh. 16 K of healing. Nice. Which is good. I think that that might honestly be one of my PVs. Mm -hmm. But um, Ready. it was interesting. I'm a little bit heartbroken, but we pushed the point all the way, or the, the payload all the way to the end, which is good. But enough about me. Let's get back to the game. Awesome. Map three, Havana going to Cuba. We're, going, we're having a little bit of fun here. A little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. So it looks like Eau Claire is uh, defending, or yeah, Eau Claire is defending first. Their lineup consists of Cassidy, Lucio, Diva, Reinhardt, Baptiste, and May. I remember that May was a big issue last map for me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I said the same thing. It's just like uh, it was the May and the Reaper at the end. It's just like oh, the yeah. DPS and also their Reinhardt was just he would just constantly push, constantly mm -hmm. push, mm -hmm. constantly rush. And I was like, oh, wow, which is it's good like, for good. That is no, how you want to play them. Reinhardt. Yeah. But it looks like Eau Claire is going to do an initial like rush, putting a May what? off onto the, the spawn room. But Sigma is able to soak up a lot of that damage, which can be exchanged for a lot of shield for him, which well, is really like good. Carthage is flanking around the other side. Definitely. It, it's, let's see how this works out. We're pushing a little bit. Um, but Eau Claire is doing really good. We got that pick on, we got that pick on Cassidy, which is really good. Uh, but then, and a pick on the Lucio, so we are up by, it is a 4 wow. 2 right now, a 3v3, 3v6 right now, yeah. which is really good for us. I think we're going to be able to push it a little bit. Uh, we are really aggressive this time. Wow. Um, I couldn't even say Carthage's lineup. We are going Sigma, Hanzo, Orissa, <laughs> Baptiste, Cassidy, and Zenyatta. Really good. That Zenyatta is going to be added DPS. And those mm -hmm. discords are going to cause a lot of extra damage to be received per, for any target that it's pla uh, planted on. That looked so. like the same push of the, that Eau Claire brought to brought to us. That was amazing to see like the, the tables turn. I think Eau Claire thought they had us, but not quite. Because yeah. we were able to hold our own with the double shield comp, which wow. is really good. And we have our DPS who are just destroying anybody who's trying to get the high ground. This map is really good for hit scan and snipers mm -hmm. in general. And our hit scan, I think, knows that and is definitely trying to counter that. Yeah, that's why uh, I don't like this map. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like Eau Claire is trying to do the same thing, that oh. double shield, exchanging a Reinhardt for an Orissa. This might be good for them. They're able to get the pick on Donut, but we're able to get that equal pick on the Ash. Uh, Nancakes is just healing everybody. We're placing down that Bongo. And Crazy Mage lifting people in the air, causing a lot of chaos. We are oh. Firebirds getting three picks in the process. Oh, four picks, five picks. Firebirds are about to secure. Wow. Play. Wow. This is completely different from the last two games this we saw. This is a total shift in the game. This is. I've been really liking this. Firebirds are really aggressive, <laughs> uh, able to get those necessary picks while doing all of that healing. Mm -hmm. That is going to be beautiful. And we have Transcendence. We have yeah, that's Transcendence. Awesome. We have Transcendence, we have High Noon, we have Dragons, we got a ton of stuff in our pocket. We yeah. are going to and, have and a lot the, of fun with and this. And the Blue Gold's only having the Reinhardt ult, and oh, up oh, there it you go. Uses it. Using it, but the Transcendence is going to block a lot of that damage, including that Immortality Field by Nancakes. Uh, and we're able to get, get a pick on the Reinhardt. Wow. wow. That's a first. Oh, but oh. Eau Claire using Bob on point, trying to stall it, contest it, and Hubbub is just laying in a lot of damage onto Bob. Bob falls. <laughs> this is beautiful to see. Firebirds are just very aggressive this round. Able to get that pick on Bob. Unfortunately, Nankeek's falling to that soldier, but I think Hubbub can oh. do a lot of healing now. This might be bad for Carthage a little bit because we're down our main healer, mm -hmm. and Zenyan oh, is not Donut enough. Falls. Donut falling, Crazy, Crazy Mage falling. Dark Tyrant getting a lot of those, getting two really good picks using that nano visor Ow. and Psychoprint's falling. Honestly, I think I can, I will say 
that Nancake's dying there was the sole reason why they capped it. I, yeah. I agree. I agree with you, but I think it's good that Carthage have a little bit of a breath mm -hmm. and have that exact same energy pushing for exactly. a, for another push. The amount of momentum point. we had in that first push was beautiful. Beautiful. And, beautiful. and I, you know, Hubbub as Zenyatta. Zenyatta is a great healer, but not enough to do a main heal. You cannot have just a Zenyatta in a fight. It doesn't really work out. Most so, definitely. I think that was a bit the root cause oh, for a lot of that. Don't but Donut's not. getting that. Dragon not able to get any damage, but able to kind of protect and forcing a transcendence that doesn't really do anything. And we're able to get a high noon, but it's not enough to do any sort of kill. Um, that's this is interesting. I think we're pushing hard on the high ground. We don't have anybody on point though. That's the interesting thing. I think what we're trying to do is get those kills right now to knock knock them down and then immediately push. Now suddenly somebody's on card. I yeah, say it and only, it changes. Only one person, though. They, they should have a little bit more sub to No, I think they have, because it looks like Psycho, Psychopreds, as Arissa, is on point. So we're able to divide and cause a lot of damage from different Divine angles. Conquer, Their yeah. ride shield is now down for Eau Claire. Uh, they're going to play a little bit more passively. Um, Donut getting a lot of picks. Getting oh. the soldier, as I say that, beautiful on their part. But... Oh, Claire, using that Im amplification matrix, but it's not good. That was oh. not a good placement. And it's but like, Hubba oh. falling and Gabe, or not Gabe, Crazy Mage falling um, oh. to that dynamite by Ash. You hate to see it. That was a little bit sad to see, but. It was a little rough, rough push at the start, but then that momentum came back. It's just unfortunate not seeing it fall through. Now, Lunar Surgeon getting a few pokes in on it. Carthage only uh, Carthage having three alts in the process, whereas Eau Claire only having that Rhine Shatter and the Visor at 98. So uh, they have the Visor right now. So uh, this could be good. Depends how we use it. Carthage now having Amplification Matrix was really good. Uh, Lunar Surgeon getting that, or Donut getting that pick on the Reinhardt for Eau Claire, knocking them down to Very only good. one tank as Sigma. I, I, this is good. They're, they're, they use the transcendence, yep. which is an interesting pick on their part. So I think they're trying to stall right now to get that Reinhardt back on the play. Uh, I can see him right now. He's rushing on the point, and he is back on the point right now. But uh, Psychopreds pushing in, getting that damage. Lunar Trinity oh, almost buddy. getting the Sigma in the process, but Do Donut is able to get that pick using that Sonar arrow, which is kind of funny. Very nice. Uh, forcing that uh, Immortality Field out, getting oh, the pick on Ash. Dyke, uh, soldier getting pick on Firebirds, Cassidy, but Dark Tyrant using it's that, 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 that right. visor, getting that donut, getting the Hanzo, oh, still pretty even, Psychopreds on it. point, trying to get that pick oh, on the Zenyatta, on. but there's so much oh, going there we go. Firebirds getting three picks right there, going to probably push it in, getting needing to finish off that, that Sigma right there, using oh, that melee, the because any damage he took was absorbed, but that melee is not being absorbed, which is really good on their part. Uh, Lunar Synergy having that high noon. Oh, when they make it to the checkpoint. Getting point, which is really good. A little bit less than two minutes left on the clock. Let's see if Firebirds can keep up this momentum. I agree. I want to see where... I think Oak Claire is holding the bridge, which is interesting because there's a lot of space that the Firebirds are able to take between now and all the way to the bridge. Most so, definitely, but uh, Eau Claire has a lot, of sp a lot of places just to hide behind and uh, a lot of coverage. I agree. It's uh, They have a lot of line of sight. Uh, but line, oh. line, Lin reverse uh, is getting that Sigma, but nothing, not doing anything, knocking Psychopreds down a little bit. But Lunar Synergy getting the pick on the Reinhardt oh, and forcing them to use a Bob. Bob's here, <laughs> and we're able to get the oh, Bob pick Bob's right gone. away. Lunar Synergy getting that double kill using that High Noon and Crazy Mage oh. using the the Graviton uh, Flux, I think that's what it's called. Um, that was great. A lot we have, of <laughs> we're staggered Eau Claire just quite a bit. Uh Nancake's still getting a lot of those heals. Uh getting that early pick on the Reinhardt. Nancakes, oh, wow. there you go. I told you. Nancakes is Baptiste. Just wow. an absolute damage dealer. Uh forcing out that transcendence, trying to stall a little bit. Now that Eau Claire using the amplification matrix, but will it be enough? It's kind of a weird angle. There goes Don't the dragons. I, there goes the dragons. But the immortality field there. Oh! oh! Carthage getting three picks and destroying the torp turn. Oh, and right wow. is Firebirds and are, The Firebirds are deadly and for this map. Nice. They are back for a vengeance. Wow! They want to make sure Eau Claire is not cocky right now. They have completely turned it around. Now, Eau Claire, just, that was just one round. That was just mm -hmm. the Firebirds attack. But that, that made me so great to see oh, yeah. that the Firebirds finally get back into action.
Wow! That was beautiful to see. Now, hopefully our defense is as good as our offense. Oh, let's hope so. I think I'm thinking I'm liking it. We had to defend a few times, and we did really well. I mean, defending the cart, which is the same as attacking. Mm-hmm. But I think this is going to be really good for us. For sure. I'm confident. Eau Claire, as we've seen in the past two maps, also really aggressive. But we, having a few really good changes, apparently, yeah. adding that aggression is... Adding that that double shield comp is deadly for us. I think I we, think we are really good at using that double yeah, shield. Yeah, we, we kind of took the strategy and kind of like gave it right back at them. Mm-hmm. It was really great to see. It's but it's going to be interesting if we can keep up that pressure, keep up that momentum, and hold it on defense because they got uh, Fibers got it all the way to the end, getting three points. So if they can hold that and not bring it to overtime. We'll get one match done or one map done. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Right now, the series is what? 2 1 right now? Or no? Not 2 uh, not 1. 2 zero. 0. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> um, this is going to look really bad if we lose this map. But oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I think, I mean, Firebird's running the same comp as last round, whereas Eau Claire pulling out a Widow. A hmm. Widow on attack. That is interesting to see. I think maybe it was in hopes that. The Firebirds might have had a Widow and are trying to outplay Probably. it? Probably, but like, I don't know. Let's see what happens. I think right now we're whole, looks like Arissa's top point. Sigma's below, which is a pretty good deci- decision. Uh, our, their Widow just completely missing that shot on Zenyatta, which was uh, beautiful for the Firebirds, because now we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that would have been a really nasty thing for the Firebirds to deal with. I think Widow is very deadly on this initial Ooh. line, this yeah. initial road, but after that, I don't think I think they're gonna switch Widow. It's got a little bit of DPS off of Donut, but Donut is Some already back. And they're they're already pushing it to the corner, which is good because now the Widow not able to get that really good line of sight. For so sure. I think the Firebirds definitely have a good chance of holding it now because they don't have to really worry about that Widow anymore. Yeah, it's kind of like taking away uh, one of the. DPS and there you go, Lunar Synergy Woo! giving the pick on the Widowmaker. I think that might be the first elimination of the game. Yeah, which is great to see. Um, Hubbub just being aggressive with a Zenyatta. Wow. Karth, Lunar Synergy getting the pick on the, the Orisa, getting the stun on Sigma. Woo. Can we get that pick though? Oh, so close. He's able to hold off Ow. just enough. Oh, but we and do we get, get the pick. Some. Lunar Synergy getting three kills right there, I think. Look at the heels on uh, on uh, the Karth's side. It's just like, it's just great. You see their health go down a little bit and then it's already back. Switching in hub up for me was a really good choice on the Firebirds. I'm gonna oh, say that I, right here. I still think you're amazing. No, but hub up is even better, <laughs> even on Zenyatta, <laughs> well, who's I'll, not a I'll agree Zenyatta, with that who's point. not a main healer, but hub up is playing him as a DPS. It's just hub up and, and, and kicks as support. It's just a beautiful I mean, to just see. Look at those Discord orbs. At, yeah, exactly. The so, Discord's really good. Hub up is just. Definitely helping the team. Almost at Transcendence. Firebirds are almost at all the ults, though. Oh, which wow. Which is really good to see. Uh, Eau Claire having most of their ults, but not all of them. Not um, all. The cart has stopped and is moving backwards. Yeah. Eau Claire uh, using Amplification Matrix. Mancake's pulling it to just retaliate. Oh, and we're able to get the pick what? on the, end, the Eau Claire Hanzo using that High Noon. However, oh. Dark Tyler getting the pick on both of her supports. This is not looking good for the Firebirds. But Jonah's able to get the pick on the Sigma. It stops that Sigma. Dark Tyrant getting it. Crazy Mage using his Sigma ult. Woo. Getting a lot of damage in. But will it be enough before our healers come back in? Crazy Mage soaking up a lot of those heals. Getting the oh, pick on the Soldier. Is down. This is interesting. Fireheart getting the pick on Donut. Uh, I think it's just Crazy Mage right now. Oh, the Psycho Breath is right behind him. Oh. And it looks like Eau Claire's going to push. I don't think Firebirds are going to have enough I, time to regroup right there. I doubt it. No. Unless Crazy Mage going to play a little oh, bit tactically. I, I give it up. Point, able to get the oh. knock on the Orisa. We are back, baby. Firebirds wow. are back. Firebirds are back. <laughs> he really bumped up. He it. really did. I told you. They wow. They hold. And sure oh. enough, Crazy Mage is able to do it. Oh, However, Eau Claire getting three picks right there. Don't getting a pick. And the rest of the Firebirds are but, picked but off that was on useful. that point. That was useful having a little bit more time, a little bit less time for uh, Eau Claire and running out that clock. Now they only have three minutes to make something happen. It's not about whether or not they get any, like that's the key of this game. Mm-hmm. You don't, it's not about whether or not you get these checkpoints. I mean, that is very helpful. But ultimately, if you don't push it to the end, you don't push it to the end. Yeah, running out that clock is super imperative. They can get as far as they something. want, but if they don't push it to the end, it's there, there you go. <laughs> Oh, but it looks like Firebirds holding that high ground. Uh, Eau Claire going a little bit to the right. Psychopreds on the left. We are split attacking them a little bit. Just a little bit. Donut getting those hits on the left. Psychopreds falling, unfortunately. Ow. Because look like Psychopreds really pushed up there. 
Barbara's really needs a pick right here. Really, yeah, I agree. This is, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. I know. Uh, Crazy Mage trying to get up there, but not oh. enough, getting a lot of damage there. That was unfortunate. Donut is unfortunately falling there again. Is Eau Claire gonna cap point right now? Wow. I'm thinking so. That was quick. That was really quick on. Click. Click. Quick. <laughs> that was really quick for Eau Claire. But looks like Firebirds might be able to do a little bit. Hopefully, it was the same thing. If uh, what? The, oh. No. Oh wait. We are on point. Firebirds are back on point with retaliation, trying to make sure that they don't cap it. <laughs> Eau Claire is, oh. is 1.76 meters away from capping this checkpoint. But Firebirds are able to get a pick on enough people to push Eau Claire How back. How do they do that? I do How do they do that? I try that in quick play and that never happens. There's a reason we're shoutcasting, Connor. <laughs> There's a reason why we're so. shoutcasting and not playing. And honestly, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love shoutcasting. Oh, I do too. Sorry, Tanner. I think you're going to be replaced. <laughs> Oh, We're I, not going to talk about it. it. Hey, he's playing, he's playing, playing Rocket League. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Firebirds grouping up there now. I think learning their lesson. Hubbub, unfortunately, is in the back. Donut getting the pick oh. on the soldier. Eau Claire is on the right. Catching the Firebirds off guard a little bit. Running oh, man, right man, on the point. Oh, Donut's getting totally the pick on Strawberry and on Raspberry. They're wow. I just noticed that. But Donut getting the really beautiful <laughs> picks. Almost getting the pick on the Sigma. <laughs> Oh, oh, there you go. No. There you go. 60 seconds left for the Firebirds as a whole. Wow. And Eau Claire has enough time for maybe two more pushes. And they only have... Oh, I barely say so. I think almost, this is going to be it. They have three ults. So, but the Firebirds almost having five ults. Almost five. That's, though. I think, going to be the key factor right now. For is sure. how we use those ults. We just got to be very conscious about how we're going to play here. Make sure no easy picks are going. Now, here's a nice thing. Crazy Mage, if Crazy Mage uses his ult on the cart, nobody can touch cart. Yep. So that's going to be a very imperative ult to use. Donut having a dragon, which is going to be good. Firebirds oh, getting two picks kill. right off the bat. Able to get the pick on both of their tanks. Hubba about unfortunately falling, oh. but we're getting that pick, that extra pick. 17 seconds left. Oh, wow. This is close. This is so close. Oh, Crazy Mage. Come on, Donut. Come on, Donut. Come on, Donut. 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 Five seconds. This is going to be good. I think Donut's going to use it. They're using Transcendence to rush on the point. High Noon. High Noon's going to be wrong. Oh, no. Donut using the Dragon. Able to get the back shots on everybody. Oh, my gosh. This is. Oh, can they get him? This is peak Overwatch right here. So much is happening. I don't know what to talk about. Oh my! Oh, Pancakes is going. Oh, get getting the amplification matrix. Sorry, getting first. the necessary picks. They're in overtime. Eau Claire falls. Overtime ticking down. And it's wow! <laughs> <laughs> and Mike has fallen. The mic has fallen. The mic. The microphone has fallen. Did we mess it up? I hope not. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Text. Looking at the producer. One. Check. One, two. Okay, he's giving us the oh, Get the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But that just shows how much, how amazing that was. Wow. I think the camera, I think the microphone's slightly off center. Oh, so we're, what's going to happen? <laughs> we're not going to tell our co- We're not going to tell the director of esports about that. That's okay. going to stay with us. He's probably watching the stream you, right you now. Actually but, fire us. Uh, we're back. We're, we're here. <laughs> wow. Nancake's doing 21,261 healing. Wow. 40, 43%. Of the damage that the Firebirds took, Nancake's height healed. That is insane. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, even in rank matches, I've, been, I've only been to like platinum on this, but like, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I am loving this comp right now for the Firebirds. I hope we don't change it. Honestly, yeah. I don't know what the call is right now, but next map is going to be King's Row. Oh, I like, I, like, I like I like that Kingsborough. one. I like it. Right. Here's the thing. The only thing I like about Havana reminds me of that song, Havana. What, what was it? Who sang that? Uh, I don't the know. It goes, Havana, <laughs> ooh, nah, nah. Hey. Half of my heart is in Havana, ooh, nah, nah. Hey. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> the don't lyrics. Know? I know the song. I just don't know the lyrics. <laughs> Outside of those two lines, I don't know the lyrics. Oh. So, no, uh, that, that it's was not amazing Katy Perry. to see. Perry. I know Katy Perry, but it's not Katy Kim Perry. Oh, Kim. 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 Camila, 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 yeah, Camila, 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 Capital? Capital? What is this, R6? What is this, R6? No, it's Thursday. 
Uh, I do, <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm still in disbelief. We held them. That was so close at the end, going into overtime. But it looks like we do have some changes. Mm -hmm. Westoff going in for a hubbub and DK going in for Lunar Synergy. Not bad. I think DK and Westoff really good. Uh, Westoff being a really good support. DK being a really good DPS. Um, it'll be interesting. Most definitely. I'll take your word for it. I don't have too much experience with this team. I know the guys outside the game, but inside the game, this is a com almost the first time I'm watching them fully, and it is amazing to see. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, wow. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. It is now 2-1 in the series. Eau Claire leading by one single map. So Firebirds win this map. We move on to map number five, which is Oasis. Ooh. But we'll see if we have to reach that. Mm -hmm. um, we should sing some Wonderwall if we ever get to that map. <sighs> oh, uh, no. Uh, Maybe. I'm waiting for someone to come in here and yell at me for that joke. But, you know, I'm not. I'm committing to that. I like Wonderwall. That's a great song. It is a good so. song, but, I mean... I don't know. I, it, it, I, I, I'm not really feeling that. I feel like I'm going to get more hate singing it than I will, like, feeling good about myself. I want to learn how to play guitar just to learn uh, Wonder Wonderwall. Wall. That's the only thing. I want to go to an open mic night and be like, all right. Isn't that band at, like, all the probably. guitar centers? It's probably. like Wonderwall, there are times Stairway where, to Heaven. Yeah. That, um, is, that is my go-to <laughs> recommend. If I'm at, like, a, a restaurant and there's, like, a live live guitarist, which usually they're, I love, love live music, mm -hmm. and someone's playing guitar... I'll just, and they're like, you know, open a request, be like, play Wonderwall. <laughs> and they'll yell at me, but it's worth it. There was one time they, uh, the guy actually played Wonderwall after that. And, I, wow, and he I'm played surprised. it so beautifully. I almost cried. I didn't cry. Did you record it? I wish. <laughs> Listen to it afterwards. Oh, oh, we'll be playing that song. I'll be, you know, but. um, I, I, I do love this map, though. A lot I better do. than Havana. Is that, I, I, that's just my opinion. There's a lot of, it's a lot more. Narrow. Havana yeah. had a lot of open spaces, a lot of long lines of sight. Um, and it's difficult, like when you have like snipers, like Widowmaker <laughs> and Hanzo. It's just like if you have a really, really, really good Hanzo or Widowmaker, it's like it, it, it's the end all be all. Definitely. I think this map Carthage has a lot of experience on, mm -hmm. so we'll see. Yeah, hopefully. I uh, will see. I, I'm hoping we go into game five because that means more content from. The toner and I, so I'm loving it. <laughs> Before we get fired. Before we get fired, which someday, but not today, hopefully. Hopefully uh, not. But here we go. Uh, Carthage Firebirds attacking, going Sigma, Hanzo, Orissa, double shield again, Baptiste, Echo, and Zenyatta. Westoff is deadly as Zenyatta, just like Hubbub, so this will be interesting to see. Uh, so is D DK is Echo, which is great. Oh, listen, they've been through the shields already. Yeah, it's oh, great to see. That Maywall, unfortunate, blocking them off. Psychobrit's just laying in a bunch of damage already. A lot of damage, a lot of stuff happening. A lot of just grouped stuff. You know, it's yeah. just, everybody's grouped up, causing a lot of damage for the other team. But slowly but surely, Fiber oh, getting the pick, the pick on Reinhardt, able to push up. Oh, Claire doesn't have a shield now. They have the defense matrix back. back. There you go. Already having amplification matrix. Wow. Wow. But will it be enough to do anything of that sort? I don't know. I can't Reinhardt see. Can just get spun back in. Our cameraman is just making sure we see Woo! everybody. But crazy mates getting that that uh, lift on everybody. Oh, Claire's Reinhardt's back. But Firebirds are on point, having gotten one tick, almost two ticks. DK oh. laying in a bunch of stuff. Crazy mates getting that pick on Cassidy. Forcing the immortality oh. out. Firebird's getting a bunch of picks in wow. the process. It's just Lucio. Lucio is back. I'm <laughs> untreated. It's like you know what? Maybe he's another like, day. He's, Maybe another day. He, he looks at the he looks at the kill feed. He's like Lucio. Oh no. Oh. No. oh. Okay. Oh. I'm not a big pun guy. I did I did like that one. I, I did like that one. <laughs> and it, 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 it just comes to me sometimes, you know. <laughs> You're the king of dad jokes. <sighs> no, Papa Plonsk is <laughs> Papa Plonsk is the king of dad dad jokes. <laughs> Tune into our uh, R6 streams every Wednesday for that for <laughs> stuff like that. But it looks like DK and Donut getting the high ground, trying to cause a lot of death from above. Dropping down. But Eau Claire is causing a lot of damage. That beat drop is giving them a lot of shield to work with. Oh. But it's mostly drained already by the Firebirds. And there goes uh, that aggressive Reinhardt again. There's the Reinhardt. Diva is diving the Hanzo. What? Eau Claire's able to push him back to the arch. 
Uh, DK using that duplication, giving a shatter on, but we're able to get the Reinhardt oh, using a boulder, and everybody's frozen. 4K! Wow! Oh, wow. Oh, just Claire like the getting... aggression from the first two matches. Oh, wow. Claire getting four kills with that Diva Bomb. Using a, that Diva Bomb in collaboration with that Blizzard was yeah. a really good call by Eau Claire. Um, because they couldn't move. They were frozen. But let's look at the pauses right now. We have four ults for the fire. Oh, we are back. Eau Claire doesn't have any so more ults. Back with Eau Claire the used all the ults. <laughs> It looks like we're gonna push in. We're pushing him to the right side, which is really, oh. weird, really interesting. Um, Firebirds is able to push it a little bit more. Nan Cakes is back, just laying in a bunch like of healing. Diva's out of max. Reinhardt's four. retreating. No, Reinhardt is running. Oh, Reinhardt wow. falls to the Firebirds. Firebirds oh, are back. Soldier's running away now. What? Soldier ran away now. Soldier ran away. <laughs> I don't have a pun for that. Um, I don't have a pun for that. I'm not a very punny guy, so I. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> just, I, it'll come to me eventually, but I'm just, I'm just in, screaming. In the right middle up. of the next fight, you're gonna think of something. <laughs> Soldier. Say he's hiding up up top. I can't get it. But it looks like, once again, that Maywall trying to isolate people. Oh! That Maywall is deadly. Nancake's getting the immortality field up. But Eau Claire is able to rush in, get the pick. Raspberry getting three kills in the process right before oh. Firebird's cap point two. That's that kind of bad because now the Firebirds mm -hmm. have quite a bit of room. To have to, to kind of push forward. No again. alts either. And almost three showing up for the for Eau Claire. I mean what they did there, they used Lucio to speed themselves in. May going in and freezing everybody. May, and... May that Maywall was the key factor in that fight. Mm -hmm. That Maywall split up the team. Split up the Firebirds, and the Firebirds were they were able to get everybody in front of the wall. They were able to kill them, and then they, the Maywall falls, and now they have only half the team to work with. That was really good on their part. Yeah, Firebirds that was need to super figure smart. Firebirds need to work on that. But Donut's able to get a get a couple poke a lot of poke damage. DK is front and center, falling to oh, Raspberry though. That was weird. Here comes but the rocking this this Woo! shrine shatter. Bunch of ults being used by Eau Claire right now, including Beat Drop. That may wall blocking them off, stopping their retreat. Eau Claire has pushed them all the way back to the arch. Which is not a good oh, place. Mythic like crazy getting MX thick, I think. Um getting those picks in the process. Firebirds need to, to to find out what's going wrong and fix it quick. I, I think Minute. it's the same thing like the first two maps. It's that very aggressive behavior for the Mo Claire. They have that Lucio to speed everybody in, and the tanks are just swinging in. It's just, it, it, it's crazy to see. It's it's like oh, what are those things called? Like a landslide? Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> landslide. <laughs> um, but it looks like Eau Claire is being is being pushed a little bit back onto the cart. Mm -hmm. Um. Firebirds are grouped up. Gonna use Dragon, which is gonna be really good here. I suggest they force out that Immortality Field. And, yeah, that Immortality Field's probably about it. Oh, Sigma okay. using that, like, oh, get... dropping ever, bringing everybody up. And the Immortality Field in, in collaboration with the Dragon. That Immortality Field protecting Ooh. everybody. Uh, unfortunately, Psychopreds falling to the D.Va. Oh, and DK, DK dying to his sticky grenade, Wait. apparently. <laughs> but, forcing the D.Va, it looks like Carthage is up in numbers here? Donut getting two picks on like both supports oh, wow. of Eau Claire. Firebirds getting a west off and the yeah, ball. Oh my gosh, so many, so many eliminations right now. Firebirds are being quick. a lot more aggressive. I think they're gonna get a point, 35 seconds. Gonna be added, I believe it's gonna be a minute 30 added to the clock. Please, I was right. Oh, yeah, 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 Hey, hey, we're psychic and psychotic, so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, Donut getting that sonar kill on Soldier. It looks like oh, Eau Claire nice. is holding that corner, which is good for them, but it's going to allow the Firebirds to get a lot of angles. Uh, Eau Claire using that amplification matrix, doing uh, increasing a lot of that damage uh, that passes through it. There goes the Maywall. It's all down. Maywall is no longer there. Uh, DK is from above. They're forcing DK's. Using dupe. Oh, and, and Donut gets, gets a pick on Lucio. Oh, and right. Two supports down and their main tank. Firebirds There's, and the oh, Diva. Wow. Wow. Firebirds are going to, to rush in. Now, that wasn't really too good because they used all of their ults. Ex Crazy Mage is about to get their Sigma ult. Mm -hmm. But Firebirds are going to need to push a little bit fast, stall a little bit. Can Crazy Mage do something oh. with the ult? They're getting the main tank, though. The Reinhardt. Oh, Crazy come Mage. On. 
Run! Throws him up in the air, getting me into the channel field, causing a lot of damage, oh. but that beat drop is able to help a little it's bit. It's just that hair away, come on. It's so close. Sneeze oh, on it, it. push it, touch it, throw something at it, come on. push it. Maze done. Oh no! So, so much is happening. The no! blizzard, no! The blizzard, but the chain is able to help him. And the Reinhardt falls. They are oh, just they trickling on in coming. one by one. Do something, Firebird. It is it's so just close. a hair away. Now the Diva's back on the point. Donut's almost going to get drag. Going to get drag. Please get drag. Oh, I am now oh, saying that's drag. Able to get the there drag on the point. Stall it. Is this push. It? Somebody is push. Do something. Firebird's getting oh, so many kills. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Uh, wow! They just yeah. kept getting kills. <laughs> oh my god, the fireworks keep getting the kills, but then uh, Eau Claire keeps rushing on the point, doing everything to stall, to, to drain that time away, and so much just happened. That's... I need some water. <laughs> And oh my gosh, I don't know what just happened. I just remember screaming, get the dragon donut. And I think he, he read our minds. I think we were able to connect psychically and just, I said, get the dragon. And he got the dragon. So. Psychic, psychotic, Psych psychotic psych psychics. Psych I don't know. I'm going to stop talking but for a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. That was crazy. Cheers. That was cheers. That was my water's great empty. Push. Mm. But it looks Ugh. like now, <laughs> okay, Firebirds ended that point, or ended that round with 14 seconds on the clock. Not a lot of time to work with. Um, but all what, what needs to happen now is Eau Claire, in order to, well, so if Eau Claire doesn't push it all the way to the end, mm -hmm. Firebirds win. They win. They win this map. It's easy as that. Ties it up, ties up the series tonight, two to two. That 14 seconds only pies for overtime, so they mm -hmm. need to make a push here. Now, Firebirds, could be really good. Pulling out pretty much the same comp. DK going Torbjorn, though. Okay. Pretty good for defense, I think. Uh, DK is really good with Torb. Torb and Symmetra and Echo. Beautiful pick slip for DK. But Eau Claire rushing to the left. Almost, Reinhardt almost falling. Unfortunate. It's good, though. I think Firebirds holding point might pull off. They're able to use the, they're, they, wow, that was weird. Uh, Suckerbird's getting the pick on Raspberry, Ooh. the main tank, doing a lot of damage. Fireheart flying in the oh, air, wow. but falling. Don't I get two kills kill. there? Wow, beautiful. I think and a triple. Wow, Donut is popping off tonight. He is on fire. I'm giving him a hug after this, dude. I'm going to give he him a hug. He deserves a hug. Everybody's doing amazing work. This comp is working beautifully. Uh, I am yes. loving this. DK and Westoff doing wonders as subs and the whole team. For sure. We are working together. We are we are attacking, being aggressive. Our supports are getting a lot of that healing. For it sure. It is beautiful all around. But what, like they did before, they're gonna do the main wall, try and split Whoa. us off, doing that cover. They're Raspberry that almost getting right down to half. Oh, DK gets a double. Raspberry's getting a lot of damage. DK getting two picks. Gonna get oh. three picks. Firebird's pulled off there. Wow. And the team <laughs> kill. Wow. Firebird's getting the team kill on Eau Claire. That scared this me. This is such a turn of events. The, the amount of times <laughs> the Deja Vu's been hitting with that quick Reinhardt push, and then this I time, they finally got it. The Firebirds are able to, they know that that is what's working for Eau Claire, <laughs> and the Firebirds are saying, not anymore. Not anymore. It's working out for them. Not in our house. So once again, they're running in. Oh, oh that's oh, a sick ball. Oh, these ults. They're pushing oh, in. West oh, and gets a pick. Why stop getting the pick on the and Crazy up. mage! And crazy mage! However, Strawberry getting the pick on East uh, West off. <laughs> but Psycho Prince falling oh. to Echo. This is interesting. Eau Claire's gotten a lot of picks, but Nat Cakes is there. So half of the team is there. Don't Donut's there trade. too. So we're able to hold it before the rest of our team gets there. Can Eau Claire Oh, and can there, Claire slow it down a little bit? Here we comes have, the scare. Well, our right reinforcements have a lot to do. Wall. They're blocking him off at the arch. Ooh. A lot of time being drained. Torborn using his bolted core, oh. forcing the diva to back oh. up. What but is main it? Using it? The main tank falls. Oh. Carthage holds point once again. Uh, Ag <laughs> Eau Claire using duplicate, getting it's the pick so on West contested. Off. Getting so much, so much is happening right now. Oh. Eau Claire getting all of these necessary picks though, uh, and going to capture destroy. point. Um, that was great. <laughs> so that much was just happened. Hold. This is a fantastic map.
My voice is hoarse from two days of oh. shoutcasting. They don't yeah. call it. See, you know, football, they only call it play by play commentary. Yep. This is why esports, it's called shoutcasting. You shout a lot. And because so much happens. I'm I like, never knew that. In football, you only have that ball to really worry about. And like, you know, the people it's going to pass it to. Very, very oh. simplification there. But. Well, uh, they're, oh, they're looks pausing? Like the enemy team is pausing. This is interesting. But with a push. What is happening? This will be interesting. I, I have no idea what this means. Our BAP can't move. Oh. Pause match. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, looks like Eau Claire has a huh. few technical difficulties. That, I, I've never seen that before. It's kind of like a repeat of yesterday when <laughs> Quizby. It wouldn't be sports without some sort of technical uh, difficulty. This is our form of injuries in this game. Yeah. Oh, look. We got a present. We got, that's my hat. That is my hat. <laughs> There we went. That was awesome. my hat. I had it on my computer out there, so to claim my spot. So claim, claim your spot. Claim your spot. So that's awesome. Do we want to do a little bit of an interview while we wait for these? Wait, donuts ready. Strawberries ready. Okay, they fixed it. Ready? Just kidding. They had keyboard issues. I think someone's keyboard was unplugged or something like that. Oh, good. But we're gonna unpause. Four seconds. Three, three, three two, two, one. one. Overwatch! You no, know, we were supposed to say Overwatch, Overwatch. Toner. Oh. We were supposed to say Overwatch. I'm now you're making me look sorry. bad. Now I'm you're looking sorry. Me bad. This is not looking good for us. But um, two minutes, fifty-four seconds on the clock. Unfortunately, we're the Eau Claire was able to get a few. But oh. getting that shatter real quick. Oh, and there and the three K. Firebird's being oh. team wiped. I uh. Okay, uh, I, don't, wow. I, I, don't, I don't know what to think about that. That was a really, really, really good push. That was interesting. Um, and like with that pause, that kind of, I think that pause that, definitely messed us yeah. up because we had all that momentum. And then they're just like, hey, stop that momentum real quick. Yeah, that most definitely. But I have full confidence that Carthage can bring it back. This will be an interesting thing. I, I don't I don't know what the proper protocol is. Right now we're just playing it through though. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Eau Claire capping point, 335 on the clock. Carthage is able to pull push a lot more. Able to get that pick on the top. Oh, wow. There we go. Uh, they are on that's revenge. Phase. That is revenge for that, that 3K beforehand. They're like, hey, you caught us off guard just for a, for a second. We got it. We got it in the bag. That was good water. <laughs> that was good water. I, I ran out of water and then I was, it was refilled. So shout out to the person who just refilled my water. Thank you. Because uh, this is a lot of shouting. But oh, Blizzard, there goes a lot of balls. But Nankix is getting the pick on their main tank. Oh, and they're not able to get the more down. down the field. Firebirds are able to survive the Blizzard. Wow. And Dota getting a pick. Dota getting the pick. Going to attack that Echo. And the Echo just barely getting out of there. You're having duplicate though. Uh, that could be game changing right Crazy there. Crazy Mage picking but off the Baptiste. Eau Claire is being forced to regroup. Two minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock for them to push it to the last checkpoint. Oh, DK got a. That's going to push them back, DK getting the I other echo. That is a really good pick for because it's going to stagger them a little bit. They oh. no longer have full damage, so they're probably going to wait for that uh, echo to respawn, especially with that ult. That ult's going to be really key. The question is, what mm -hmm. ult? Who's, who's that echo going to duplicate? But. Oh. Psychobird's so getting the pick on the Reinhardt after he shatters. Uh, and the oh, and oh, Donuts with the back line getting these easy picks. And what's that pulling up transcendence? Oh, getting, can he get the pick? Can he get the pick? Can he get the pick? He's getting lifted in the air. Oh. Everybody's in the air. Unfortunately, Donut getting picked off by that Echo lost. and that Graviton because of the duplicate. Oh, but both Firebirds DK are holding their own. DK falls there, yeah. but Crazy Mage is still on the front line. Somebody needs to deal with that Echo up top because that is causing a lot of issues for the for Firebirds. Sure. Oh. Amplification Matrix West is causing falls. a lot of chaos as well. Crazy Mage holding, the own, holding his own on point. Minute 40 oh. left, three people. Firebirds need to do something real quick. Minute 30. Before they cap. Psychopreds is holding. You gotta get on that point. Psychobred's causing a lot of damage. Diva's doing a lot. Diva almost has bomb. DK duplicating and but Diva having bomb. This is not looking oh, good. Oh, there it this goes. Is this could be bad. This could be bad. Oh, be safe. No. Oh, 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 they survive it. They're oh. all DK. Whoa. Whoa. Firebirds are back. They are a 
attacking. Strawberry getting a little bit of a boop there. <laughs> a little bit of a boop there. A little bit of a boop. A little just, bit of a boop Just a there. hey. Hey, guys, back up oh. a little bit. I'm running away. Hey, look. Lucio's... Once again, again, Lucio, no. <laughs> Lucio, oh no. 50 seconds left on the clock. Eau Claire has two more pushes left. Fire oh, I doubt it. I think this is going to be it. This only is going to be good. More. This is going to be only one more good push. I think that's all they got left in them. Oh, they're going to do another quick Reinhardt Lucio, Lucio push. We'll see. Oh, and there. Crazy Mage getting that lift crazy. in the air, comboing it with the oh. Dragon of Immortality Field, saving them. But one of their healers falls to it. Unfortunate. And Firebirds pushing in, causing a lot of damage. Second break. And the shield is down, bro. Quit. But Blizzard oh, is man. back. It's cold. It's chilly. It's frozen. It feels like Wisconsin. <laughs> and Firebirds are up in numbers right now. 18 seconds left, left on the, the clock. Board. This is looking so good for the Firebirds. My voice is hoarse. This is 12 so seconds like left. They have enough time for half a push. And we have Seven, no ult. No chisels. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. It gets us time. It's overtime right now. Firebirds what getting happens? the pick on the main tank and the Lucio and the Echo. Wow. Firebirds are deadly. Nick King. Oh, Claire. Wow. Wow. Can we do it? We are almost there. Get them. Oh, the They're dead. Out. Overtime. Lucio's moving on the point. <laughs> and they fall west off with the pick. Very getting nice. Getting it. Firebirds secure map four. Woo. We're going into Oasis. Wow. <laughs> Wow! This is the energy tonight. It was Firebirds down two to zero. First two maps, <laughs> and they are back two to two now. Winner take the next map is the deciding factor. I don't know what to say, Turner. Wait, wait, is it the deciding factor? It is. It is two to two. Best of five for them. Oh for the night. no! This is starting to get interesting. <laughs> Things are very interesting right now. Wait, so uh, what would hang on. Be? Fireheart doing 23,000 healing there. 32% of the of Eau Claire's team damage taken. Oh, but look at West Off with that Transcendence healing. West Off doing four, almost four and a half thousand. With Transcendence alone. Wow. That's amazing. That is a, that is a lot of healing done. Wow. West Off is popping off as Zenyatta. We are going to take a four minute break oh, before I map five. I need Don't that. go anywhere because it's going to be it's going to be chaotic. It's Overwatch though. We'll see you there.
We are back for map five. The series is tied <laughs> two to two. This we is are, exciting. This is an exciting game. I was a little bit, uh, I, was, I wasn't super happy earlier. You know, we were down by two. It was just kind of sad. But I think Firebirds have finally adapted, knows what works, knows what how to counter Eau Claire mm -hmm. perfectly, and have tied the series two to two. Uh, we're going to map five. Winner takes all. A little bit of technical difficulties last map, but we're, we were able to continue and push through. Um, Oasis, control point. So there's no no possibility for the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. So this is winner takes all, control point. Do Both teams or die situation. Do or die. Both teams having to capture a centralized point, just like back on Ilios. Mm -hmm. This is going to be good. It's, it's kind of going to be kind of interesting seeing like we started off at Ilios. And we didn't do so good. And then now it's kind of a repetition that we, it, 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 it's like it all comes back together. You know? It's, it's like a other. puzzle. You're putting all these pieces together. Eventually you have this beautiful Yeah, picture. it's all coming back to the beginning. It's all coming back to the start. This is going to be super interesting to see. Can the Firebirds hold on to this momentum? Or it's going to get fall, or fall to it, to the Reinhardt and the Lucio combos, along with the May. I mean, May, Lucio, and Reinhardt are super strong on the Eau Claire team. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's just insane. It is. Now, we do have a substitution. DK, who was beautiful last round. I oh need my. to give it to DK. Oh, and my. Seriously, every single person up for Carthage last round was getting pick after pick. Mm -hmm. The healers were top notch. It was so beautiful. My producer needs to stop giving me these cute messages. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right now, we're going to stall a little bit because it looks like Eau Claire had a bathroom break that we just kind of... Uh, we didn't realize they were on a bathroom oh. break, but you get more of us, which is great. So is it? Yeah, I think it might be great. <laughs> I mean, we, we are psychotic, so it's oh. official. We're psychotic. But DK going out, Lunar Synergy coming in. Mm -hmm. So DK playing Echo, just solid, solid Echo pick that last map and For Torbjorn. Sure. Now Lunar Synergy, really good at McCree or Cassidy. Apologies. Uh, <laughs> I'm always, still gonna say I'm, that it is such a like I've played Overwatch for probably six or seven years now, <laughs> and it's, well, 2014. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> We're old. I'm old. That We're is, old. Uh, oh, I like no. That. I just realized how old this game is. Where's Overwatch 2? That's a different discussion. Uh, that is a very heated discussion, man. Microsoft's oh. going to hopefully Microsoft fixes things. First of all, that's a whole other conversation okay. that I'm not going to get into. But Lunar Synergy, really good as Cassidy, really good as Soldier, mm -hmm. just hit scan in general, which is solid. Donut. Popping off as Hanzo this oh, match. It's just been amazing. I mean, it, for my rank, like I'm, I'm around like gold, run plat, mm -hmm. and you never see Hanzos. And it, just seeing what, I like how you can fully utilize that character, what his potential is, it, Donut is doing it perfectly. You want to know the funny like, thing wow. too? You want to know the funny thing? Donut started playing Overwatch on console, and now this year learning PC. And is really? performing this well with mouse and keyboard. I do. You're, I you're I am joking. blown away. No, I am blown away at how well. Same with psychopreds. I am blown away at how well these have these people have been able to swap from a controller to the the top tier PC where aim assist doesn't exist. What? That, that's just amazing. To <laughs> it's me. amazing. It's like, to for see. me, it took like two years to get to get to I get never, that muscle. I never memory. want to play on console anymore because I know people like Donut exist. But here we go. <laughs> Looks like map one on Oasis oh, what is a beautiful going map. on to. Yeah, no, I'm liking. I like this. It. You know, I I think I like the theme song. Like if it has that little you know little jingle to it. We don't. A little we bit can't of hear the music right now, unfortunately. <laughs> but we're just gonna imagine it's Wonderwall, right? Mm -hmm. It You're my one do <laughs> Copyright strike. Oh. Why are we trying to get fired? Is, is, it a, is it a thing? Well, if they haven't fired us yet, <laughs> we're going to push that line. We're going to push that boundary. Uh, we just... <laughs> this is the worst part about these control maps is there's like 20 seconds where it just nothing's happening. I know. But it's just but nice to look here around. Here we go. Crazy Mage once again going Sigma. Very similar. Now, Crazy Mage going Sigma... Donut going Hanzo, Psychopath oh, going Ch Hog. Changing Just kidding. Wrecking Crazy ball. Mage is going Wrecking Ball, Woo! which is new. Nancake going Baptiste, of course. Yeah. I would be shocked if Nancake doesn't choose Baptiste. Yeah, because, oh my god. Like, they're doing so well. Like, I, I, I just can't believe I it. Agree. I mean, I, like, oh wait, Crazy Mage just switched uh, uh, to Sigma again. 
They're just, oh. just trying to throw us off our rhythm. Uh, <laughs> oh, and, what was oh, I saying? Oh, uh, Nan never mind. really good. Lunar Synergy going Cassidy. West off going Lucy. Oh, oh. Lucy out. Oh, Claire going Reaper. Baptiste, Reinhardt, Diva, Lucio, and Cassidy. Will it work for them? They, they are the fighting each great. other. Top oh. point. Donut getting a lot of arrows in, but Eau Claire pushing forward, which is not ideal for them, because now they have a lot of cover, but also like we're able to mm -hmm. move on the point, cause a lot There's, of chaos for them. Oh, and immortality field out. Firebird's getting three two picks right there in the fight, including the main tank, which is key right there. That Reaper might be issues. However, Psychopreds can get a really good hook on that Reaper and kill kill uh, kill him right away. So that's really good. Donut getting these arrows in, hitting Lucio really low on health. Reaper still applying a lot of pressure there. Mm -hmm. Able to oh, kill Donut with gets the them. flick. And Carthage takes the map or takes the point. Wow. That was fast. I mean, you can see Eau Claire was trying to do that same rush strat with Reinhardt, but they had a hog to, to, to negate that. And they had so many, so many good things to just to defend from there. Oh, oh my, but and a hook. Oh, just barely. Just wow. barely surviving that hook. That map cheese just scared. But Donut, oh, Donut, Donut, gets Donut there you go. Donut wanted it. He was like, I'm 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 gonna have this Greedy. kill. So Greedy. Oh, oh, and there's and a another pick. Wow. Oh Claire is now down to three. Low. And they oh, have like no help. Donut's there. Fun. Donut's like, you're not leaving. You're mine. And you're out. picks. Firebirds get another almost another team wipe, basically. Um they're now they're having to regroup. And Firebird's already almost halfway on the half, halfway to control point. So super strong for the Firebirds coming out of the gate. I was just like I was a little bit nervous because of uh, uh uh I can't remember the grace map. Well, whatever well, that, the, first, the, the first one. Oh, uh, Ilios. Ilios. Yeah. Thank but you. it looks like but it looks like doing the same thing going above. Oh. Can it's can Westoff get the boot though? Can oh. Westoff get the boot? But we oh. don't even need the boot because we're able to do a bunch of stuff. That beat drop. They're all gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. Fire Ranger. Oh, and it's a team kill. Another team kill. Holy cow, Toner. The Firebirds are back. You know, the I'm, Firebirds. I'm trying, I'm trying to analyze this. Uh, I, I got can't. something serious. They're just, and then they already team kill. They're uh. just dead. That's it. They're just dead. And I think Eau Claire has enough time for one, maybe two oh, good pushes. I think this is it. But this I might think this be is it. it. I, this might be, yeah, no, I agree. I think now that I look at it, I think the but Firebirds one almost ult. getting the pick, but forcing that immortality field. And Cassie a drop with is being used by Westoff. Raspberry has the shatter. Will he use it? He uses it. But game Only one. Crazy Mage is able to block what it. Synergy 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 double getting kill. double kill. Nancakes unfortunately falling. We are down to Westoff as our sole healer. Oh, oh Claire is pushing. I it's believe. Another time. The Reaper getting oh. a Wraith. Reaper getting a 3k oh. there. We literally have to get another team fight and we win. There's, we there's win that deja vu though. I mean, we said the same thing about, uh, I can't remember again. <laughs> One of the previous maps. One of the previous, the first. The first map, Ilios. I Ilios. Ilios. Ilios, I'm thinking of R6 maps all the time. I'm just like. <laughs> Uh, what was it called? Anyway, it's just, it's, I'm kind of scared. It's looking at that deja vu. It's just like we had 90 yeah. cent too and they took it at the last minute. Now, Firebirds just seem to get a one team wipe and we I think that's solid. I think it's really good. Um, Everything up top. Oh, Donut with the but first they're going to go up top. It looks like Cass and Donut getting a pick on their Baptiste. Their main healer is down, which is really good for them. Oh, they're of course getting a win, But the Devo, not getting anybody strawberry, getting the pick on Psycho Press. Oh, they're they're down both of our tanks. Firebirds are down both Ooh. of their tanks. Donut getting, getting a pick out of Diva. Oh. I'm able to get the pick on the main Rhine for the Eau Claire. This might be good. Oh, and the Rhine. Double. And the Reaper. What? Lunar Synergy is so good right now. What is happening? Eau Claire is scared. They're hiding. Well, they're not. They, and the beat drop. The beat drop gives them a lot of shield to work with. A lot of health, but temporary. Uh, oh. Psychopred switching to Winston, Dude, causing a lot now. of damage. Almost dying, but not enough. Oh. Eau Claire is able to get those picks. Donut has Dragon. Crazy Mage has Graviton. This is gonna be good. This Eau Claire. Eau Claire is at 63%. So they have already pushed quite a or they've already capped a lot. Mm -hmm. Um once again, we just need one single team fight. Needs to be we have a few ults to work push. with. Uh high noons at 70%. I bet Lunar Synergy is gonna get that right away. Uh -huh. But um and Westoff is not that far from his ult either. Westoff, definitely. Westoff's about to get it. Uh Donut's gonna use it. They got the early pick. The diva's out of mech. Donut's gonna use his dragon. Probably at some point, Crazy Mage using that, pulling a lot of people in the oh. air, doing a lot of damage. Lunar's getting picked on the Cassidy, forcing the immortality matrix or the immortality field. 
Get on oh, the lava pick. Lunar Synergy getting the pick. Don't get the pick on Strawberry with that dragon. Oh. And the Reinhardt and the Bepti. Firebirds are going to cap point map one. Oh, that wow. was beautiful for the Firebirds. Is it over? They all, they got, oh, stop. It's over. got the pick. It's over. Wow. <laughs> Don't need to look twice. That was that was a really that good was, that, was that was a really good hold now, by Eau Claire though. Eau Claire got 99%. So yeah. if we lost that fight, Eau Claire was gonna win. Woo. So they were able to hold their own, especially once they capped point. But this Firebirds could were be match point. This could be match point. This could be good for the Firebirds. This could be it. This could be really, really good. And I'm really excited for this. Pressure is high on both teams. So will the Firebirds take it out? Let's see what they got. This might be their first win of the season because, fun fact, the team we played last week actually moved up in the division change oh, for the team we played really? last week. So we don't know what the situation is with that game. Okay. But this is, this, that, I, I don't know. We might, it might be completely, re, we might have to redo last week's match. Well, but what? looks like Firebirds going Sigma again. Hanzo saw uh, ha, the same comp in last game. Whereas uh, Eau Claire <laughs> going May broke. again. May is a big issue for us. Uh, oh, they full got dive a though. They're going full dive, meaning they're going to be very mobile, not so much uh, damage and healing, and not yeah. so much damage and shielding, but a lot of uh, mobility. Lunar Strange is getting that early pick on the Baptiste. Focusing oh, on got the Donut Anna. is focusing on those healers. Crazy Mage getting a lot of those early shots on the team. They are hiding behind uh, Point, but we're going to have yep. to move in. Oh, almost got the Tracer. Almost. But looks like oh, he's going to dive on the comp, uh, dive onto the Carthage. A lot of damage. Strawberry able to survive oh, a little bit, but Carthage able to pick on the Winston and the May. We are Firebirds are leading in oh. numbers. Donut getting the pick on the Ana. They no longer have any healers on point. They're able to get the Diva out of mech, even though they're oh. nanoed. And oh. the pick on the, the Diva. Wow, this is beautiful. And we have a bunch of ults. They are so tactical now. They know exactly <laughs> how to. How to Firebirds are they are fired up. I they mean, are fast. They are fired, fired up. up. They are ready. Do we get money for saying hashtag fired up? We will now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but oh, uh, but Donut gets a pick Donut up get a pick Ana. on the Ana, which is really good because that is their main healer right now. Mm -hmm. Well, no, the Baptiste. I think their main. Healer. They got really good healing right now. But that Baptiste is gonna be. It, it's gonna force them to regroup a little bit. For sure. I mean, that's very good. It's gonna have a little bit more time for the Firebirds, uh, a little bit more leeway. Now, now Lunar Synergy knows the Tracer's there. Oh, she's running. Cassidy being such a good counter to that Tracer, I'm surprised they didn't switch. But uh, able to get Lunar Synergy getting a lot of damage on. The Winston is super low, but the High Noon the will be enough. Oh, here oh, comes Lunar the Tracer. Synergy just oh. falling, Donut falling. Firebirds no longer having any DPS, but able to get that, uh, that Diva out. And the Winston is low, <laughs> and Psychopreds is just scared. They're not, the second Prince is not scared. Second Prince is not scared and pushing in. Able to get that kill. Baptiste getting that pick Ooh. on the Winston. Firebird still holding it. 41, 4 to 1. Contesting on point. Uh, Crazy Mage almost dying because of the anti healing, but able to be healed. Uh, able to back up a little bit. Getting you that heal from Nancakes. This is this is beautiful. This is uh, Firebird at 70% point. Um, so it's Eau looking Claire like there's gonna be like one, maybe two good pushes left from yeah. Eau Claire. That's what I'm thinking. So now, got a lot Diva, of ults up. Uh, Eau Claire using that Diva bomb. Oh. Will it work? It didn't work. The the blizzard did not work for them. And the oh. High Noon is gonna pick off that May, which is honestly the Firebird's Achilles tendon, or Achilles heel. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna do quite a bit for the Firebirds. That oh. Primal Rage, not oh. enough. Man kicks. Just doing a lot of healing. That, that Winston dying. Nancake's being anti-healed, but still able to do a lot. Diva's out of her mech. And it's just Moira. Can we get them, Moira? It's the whole team versus Moira. And the Firebirds are at 99%. Wow. It is overtime. Wow. The Firebirds, it's Reaper. Oh, it Reaper. is just Reaper. And are they going to get it? It's a lot of people right now. Oh, Winston diving on a point. Diving on a Nancakes, but the rest of Carthage is able to get there and help out Nancakes. Oh, oh that's just Tracer, Tracer, Tracer we're calling. Oh, Tracer stall point. She's falling. Is this it? it? Is it's it? It's, it's over. Firebirds it's win. It's all over. The Firebirds win tonight. 3v2 against Eau Claire Blue Wow. Birds. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Crazy Mage with the play of the game. I want to see this because this Crazy Mage was yeah. so good. Oh, this was a oh. beautiful one for, the, for them. Look at that. Who do you want to interview, Tona? Who do you think? Um, biased or non-biased opinion? 
Who do you want to interview on the Firebirds? I kind of want to interview Donut. Donut, bring Donut in here. <laughs> Donut was so good with that with Hanzo not needing the switch at all tonight, and just doing a lot. Fireheart doing nine thousand healing there. Raspberry doing sixteen thousand damage mm -hmm. blocked as Ryan on that Ryan shield, but Donut so many picks as Hanzo for sure. He's just been on fire every single map, every single round. There was no deviation from yeah. it. It was like he, <laughs> left and right, just the best Hanzo plays I've ever seen mm -hmm. in my life. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. But it looks like we're going to take a quick 90-second break before we interview. We're going to do uh, Ben and em uh, We're going to do Donut and Nancakes in the Ooh, interview, which is great. Fun. Nancakes is Baptiste, Deadly, and Donut. Two beautiful players on this team. So good. So good to see. I'm so That's excited. Fun. We will see you in about 90 seconds. Stay tuned for that. All right, we are back for a major interview. Not one, but two of our star players for today. Oh, we have kids. Donut to my right. We have Nancakes to my left. We have the amazing DPS. And I'd say DPS, yeah. your BAP was basically a DPS Insane. at that point. Insane. Getting so many picks on key targets. Same with you as Hanzo. Oh, yeah. oh my <laughs> gosh. This is beautiful. This was a beautiful game to see. This was Overwatch. It's not over till it's over. So uh, I, I think we'll start with you, Donut. What what changed? <laughs> I don't know what? what to say. I don't know what to, what changed tonight between map two being down by two and then suddenly winning by one. Hey, winning. you stole my question. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we we took a little break and we all you know got together. We talked about what was working, what wasn't working. Um, we made a couple of switches and. <laughs> yeah. we, made, we made a couple of switches to our game plan we talked to each other about um how we want to do things a little bit differently and it ended up just kind of working out um how we planned it to which is you know the dream <laughs> you come you spend all this time working on a plan and then it doesn't work and you get sad but when it works oh my gosh the serotonin oh yeah <laughs> you should have heard us shop oh my. we were on the, we we were told to keep it down we were too loud on that on uh king's row we were screaming there was one time you it was the, you were about to get dragon and i was literally saying get donut, dragon wait. dragon dragon i thought you were going the donut 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 donut, donut, that donut, 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 donut. donut. <laughs> that's what we were shouting we were like that dragon is gonna be beautiful and it worked out so what about you what 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 changed between those maps? I mean, you were doing amazing for all of those. The healing was on point, but just what changed, do you think? Um, honestly, I just think, like, again, what Ben or Donut, whichever you want to say, um, 
I think like he said, we just kind of got together again and we kind of went over everything, um, what was working, what wasn't. And then I think our communication definitely got better. The comms were targeting people and we just went for it. And as soon as we targeted somebody, it was just done. That was that was really got. I think the key good. factor too was I was no longer playing. I had like I had silver healing. I'll say that I had silver healing. Hey, but we learned a lot from that game, like actually. I know. <laughs> I, I learned that I am perfectly capable. I'm I'm a silver healer. Hey, you just gotta you gotta bust out the Ana next time. That's <laughs> <laughs> good go. good joke. Um, so hey, hey, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that last point though was a little bit or the last map I should say first point. A um, little bit scary there. Eau Claire was able to catch us off guard and secure all the way to 99%. Yeah. What do you think they did really well there that kind of threw us, that that uh, kind of, were able, they were able to overpower us there? Right, so they had really, really good coordination um, to take, so we are holding high ground the whole time. And I know the supports are probably the one shot calling the most right mm -hmm. now. And they really coordinated just running into us. So our comp was really good at being at a distance, but once you close that distance, they just had the edge and then at that point we just couldn't find a rhythm at first and they were just doing a really good job at uh pressuring us before we got uh to find our feet mm -hmm. and so um once we did that was good but until then they really just stepped on the gas i would say the same thing they were really good like close up and as soon as they were close up they had a somewhat of an advantage on us but once we were a bigger distance and had more we definitely overpowered them i think in that mm -hmm. aspect now i do have a question for you oh. You played okay. <laughs> you so you played Baptiste, yes. who is a support, doing a lot of healing. But <laughs> I want to I want to know what what is going through your mind while you're playing because you're doing healing, but you're also doing a lot of damage. As you saw, a lot of really good eliminations in that game. A lot of tanks being eliminated. So like, do you like how do you how do you do that? How do you be like okay? I need to support my team. Oh wait, I'm gonna get this kill. Like, what goes through your mind? I think it's just a lot of learning, like 50-50 on mm -hmm. what to do. Um, obviously, if my team is low, I'm healing them because that's my first priority. But if everything's going good and I can just focus on damage, I'm gonna focus on damage. I mean, in the beginning, you know, you gotta learn to DPS as a healer too, because if you're just healing, then. You know, you're just chilling. Good point, good point. I have another question right on top of that is that I, I'm an old player, so Baptiste is super new to me. <laughs> and I was just like, when he when he was released, like, I never saw his um, uh, a mortality shield being used correctly. But for you, like every single situation where you could use it perfectly, you did. Like, I, like how can you tell? Like, how can you tell? Like, when when is the perfect opportunity to use that immortality shield? So I'm not the the, I wouldn't say I'm still the best at like. You're oh, better I, than either I, of us. I wouldn't say so. You're better than either of us. I'm a mercy main. I just I just click and hold on people. Um, so it's really actually kind of hard to figure out the perfect times for the immortality. So like obviously if they're ulting, I'm gonna figure out a way to put it down. Or if I know somebody's low and I can't heal them in time, I'm gonna put that down. Um, the biggest thing is just putting it behind something so that they can't knock it down right away. Because as soon as I throw it out and they see it, they're gonna come for it so it's always just finding the right place and at the right time mainly for the ults now, awesome i noticed eau claire's diva many times just being you know attacking and then be like oh wait i need to take care of this immortality field and then we were able to just lay in a bunch of damage and pick off that diva which yep. was beautiful now you you stuck on hanzo that entire game yeah yeah did you at what did you like I mean, we lost the first two maps, but that didn't stop you from playing Hanzo. What did, like, were you thinking about changing at all, or were you just persistent? Right. So, uh, there was, I, I talked to you the last time I was in here, right? I don't play Hitscan. I don't play Cassie. I don't play Soldier. And so, I played Hanzo. I, I talked to Emily before this. And I was like, hey, this is my comfort. Like, this is where I do what I'm used to. And I just felt like it was working what I was doing. Um, and I could just change the play style a little bit to really fit around the team. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's kind of my... Uh, the number of times... Yeah. That is... We, we say that so many times in our streams. If it ain't broke, don't fix don't it. Don't fix it. And in your case... Well, same with you. If it ain't broke, don't <laughs> fix it. Baptiste and Hanzo, the entire game. So mm -hmm. that was that was beautiful to see. I think next que ne the, the final question of the night for us is um, going into next week. Is there anything you want to do different or you you want to reinforce certain strategies you did? What 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 are you thinking right now going into next week? So um, there's there's two uh, schools of thought I have. Um, we still aren't very good when someone gets in our face. We just crumble. Um, and so we can really strengthen um, 
getting pressured. And if we can do that, we can really hold a lot better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you have a crazy defense, you don't even need that back of an offense. Um, or to counter that, we could just work on what we're doing and just keep everyone at a distance because that's really where we shine as a team right now. So I think we'll, we'll talk afterwards and we'll decide where we <laughs> we'll go. We'll celebrate and then talk. <laughs> but those are definitely the two thoughts that I have. Right okay. Now. okay. Wicked. That's probably the same for me. I'm just like enhancing what we have so far because, again, we're really good at the distance part and just maybe even just trying some new things. Like, obviously not during the actual game, but definitely like not, you know what I mean, like just um, when we're practicing, uh, just trying some new comps and, again, trying what Ben said, kind of like what people get in our face, how we're going to react to that. So. You're gonna learn Widowmaker now, right? <laughs> right. right. I, and he I was hitting all those headshots. Yeah. You yeah. were. You played Hanzo as a sniper, and we were talking about that Havana really good as a sniper map. Yeah. But you, you were the sniper, and even then, you weren't really the sniper. Their, their Widowmaker missing a lot of those shots that mm -hmm. could have definitely changed the game. <laughs> but ultimately, we were able to pull it off. I think that is all we have for tonight. Thank you so much, Donut and Emily and Nancakes. I whatever name you want to be called. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you so much to the viewers at home. Make sure to give us a follow on Twitch. Follow all of our social medias at Carthage Esports, I think, for everything. Uh, but thank you so much. We will be back tomorrow with some League of Legends, I believe, at the same time. Uh, but have a great night to all of you. See you later, Firebirds. Take it easy.